Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to use the greater than or equal to operator in Excel. Microsoft Excel has its own programming language to help you manipulate data in your spreadsheets. Like other programming languages, the Excel formula language uses relational operators to check if one value is greater or less than another value. The greater than symbol, which is the right angle bracket, checks if the value before is greater than the value after. The less than symbol, the left angle bracket, checks if the value before is less than the value after. And the equals symbol checks if the values before and after are equal to each other. But you can also combine the equals symbol with a greater or less than symbol. For example, you can check if 5 is greater than 5, which returns false, since 5 and 5 are equal. Or, you can check if 5 is greater than or equal to 5, which is true, since it meets one of the two checks. The two checks being, is it greater than, or is it equal to? Now let's use the greater than or equal to operator inside an if statement. The formula will then return yes or no, depending on whether the value in A1 is greater than or equal to the value in B1. Start by double-clicking into cell C1, then type equals. If. Open bracket. A1 greater than equals b1 comma then type yes in quotation marks which returns if the check is true another comma then type no in quotation marks which returns if the check is false now close the bracket and hit enter the formula returns false because one is not greater than or equal to five but if we change the value in a1 to six then the formula returns true because six is greater than five and if we change 6 to 5, the formula still returns true, because the equals check is now true. Now let's look at using conditional formatting to highlight values that are greater than or equal to another value. We'll start by entering two columns of numbers to check against each other. When that's done, head to the Home tab at the top. Then go across and click Conditional Formatting. Select New Rule from the drop-down. You'll notice a dialog box appear on the right side of the window. Now head to the first column of numbers and highlight the rows. Then go back to the new rule, where you'll find the selected range in the apply to range box. Next, head down to greater than, and be sure to leave cell value selected. Instead of greater than, select greater than or equals to. Then, in the final input box, type equals B1, which is the first row of the column we want to compare with. Now head down and select whichever color you want for the highlight. Finally, hit Done. With the conditional format enabled, we can now see the values highlighted when they are greater than or equal to the adjacent value in column B. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.